they're saying just because we're women doesn't mean that we have to serve you, serve men sexually. And that men have exercised a feudal privilege by commanding women's services. It's indicative of that, that the worst rates of sexual assault are in male bastions. The military, male gangs, of course, like the Hell Angels that advocate male supremacy over women. Administrative jobs, which men used to hold, and now women are increasingly trying to get into. STEM fields, science, and um, math, technology fields, and engineering are places where women are sexually molested and accosted more than they are otherwise. Another is manufacturing, which used to be a male stronghold, and now threatened males want to exercise their, priv their feudal privilege by commanding women's bodies. So that if you look at graphs of what are the fields and the areas in which women are most often raped or assaulted, they are formerly all, men, all male areas. NRA membership is one. Well, the NRA has a target where you, called the ex-girlfriend target, where you can shoot the ex-girlfriend so much that you can blow her to bits in a bloody mess because she refuses you. Even the issues of mass murder, which are really numerous, I only kept track between April and May. There were 45 mass shootings. That's 30, 45 mass shootings. I mean, 45 mass shootings in 30 days, more than one a day. And they were all male, and they were all men who lost an emblem of traditional feudal masculinity, a job that could support, ostensibly, women and children, or a girlfriend, or both. And these men asserted their masculinity and their importance in a masculine way, like the NRA advocates, through the mouth of a gun that there is still a strong protest against the loss of feudal ascendancy of men. A client of mine did an interesting experiment that illustrates that. After the January 6th insurrection attempt of the Trumpians to go into the Capitol and take it over, I guess, or at least do a lot of destruction, she put an ad in Christian Mingle, a Christian dating site that said, wanted a real man, a real true man, a masculine man who will not be constrained by anything, even the government. Send a photo. And from the photos she got, she matched them up with insurrectionists at the Capitol and sent 22 men's names to the FBI because the appeal of the feudal ascendancy of men over women and that definition of masculinity inspires, I am a man, I don't have to obey your laws. And I worship Donald Trump, who has 27 sexual assault allegations against him and who brags about grabbing pussy. These are feudal remnants of men trying to assert feudal ascendancy in a changed gender landscape in which women are demanding the absence of sexual assault, sexual equality, control over our own bodies, rather than leaving that up to male control in the family, job equality, 
all of those things can be seen as part of struggle against a feudal destiny based on gender. We have to remember that if you were born a serf, you had to have a kind of marriage to the Lord where you swore fidelity and service. You swore fealty, faithfulness, and service, just like you do in a marriage where you love, honor, and obey according to the traditions. That all of that is now up for grabs. And it's ironic that it's up for grabs because the capitalist desertion of the American workforce that was demanding reasonable wages and benefits. That is a contested terrain in the United States, contested through all of the birth control constraints, the abortion constraints, the sexual behavior contests, and also through gay and transgender rights. 